Now, again, this study, small phase one study, not power to look at efficacy, but we did see some interesting things. Uh, this is a patient where you see the preoperative scan on the left, the postoperative scan in the middle, and then on the right is the post-treatment. So that's with radiation chemotherapy and a ketogenic diet. Uh, and what you can see is uh, on the top is basically the post-contrast view. And what you see on the top right is that after treatment, there's really no visible contrast enhancement at that point. On the bottom is an MRI sequence called FLARE. FLARE looks at a lot of things, but one of the things it's very good at looking at is at edema or swelling and inflammation in the brain. And again, you can see after treatment, um, there's almost complete resolution of that flare signal, a lot of improvement in the uh, edema that we see. In a subset of patients, we also performed some exploratory imaging studies. Uh, on the left is dynamic contrast enhanced uh, MRI scan. If you focus on that K-trans box before and after treatment, K-trans is a measure of vascular permeability. So you can see after treatment, it looks like there's less signal, less vascular permeability than you see before treatment. Uh, and one of the thoughts with um, treatments like anti-angiogenic treatments is that they're able to decrease K-trans by normalizing the blood vessels and maybe that has a therapeutic benefit. On the right is an image from a PET MRI scan. Uh, this is a fluorodeoxyglucose PET scan. So what we do is we inject a radio-labeled uh, fluorodeoxyglucose. And of course, the idea being that uh, cancer cells uh, are very uh, avid uptakers of glucose, and so that you'll see a bright spot um, where, where the tumor is. Now, traditional PET scans aren't actually that helpful in the brain because it turns out that a lot of the brain is very glucose avid, and it can be hard to really differentiate what's taking up the glucose. Is it the normal, is it the normal brain or is it the tumor? But when you co-register it to an MRI scan, then you can get a much clearer sense. And what you see in that image is what's kind of glowing yellow. That's the normal cortex, normal tissue, taking up a lot of glucose. But you can see where that arrow is pointing, that contrast-enhancing tumor. There isn't that yellowish glow. There is no hypermetabolism in that area of tumor in this patient on a, on a ketogenic diet. Thank you.